Hey guys, Tim here with The Long Hair Gardener, and today is the second part of my garden tour. Um, I'm very behind here on these garden tours, but um, I'm ready to do it now, so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, if you missed the first garden tour, I did post that last Sunday, so you'll want to uh, check that out. All right, so we finished up with um, the planters over here, and we're going to move over into the shaded area now and some sun. Um, this area right here does get some sun, and the plants will reflect that. Um, so back here, let's see, can I get in a little bit closer? Right back here, I have a coleus. Uh, I believe that one is called Saturn's Rings. We have a uh, lava rose right down here. I also have a wire vine um, and some creeping jenny down here. Let's make our way over. Um, another Saturn's ring and then a lava rose right down here. Uh, I also have two alocasias. So I have the coffee cup alocasia and then I have a very small mojito right here that's coming up. Stepping around. So, of course, um, we have right here my red Abyssinian banana tree. So, this is year number three for this particular plant. I have been wintering it over. Um, and I think it's doing all right. back here up against the wall i do have some cannas and then we're going to move right over here to these planters these two planters so i will admit these two planters over here have been giving me a hard time um, i had to buy some new plants because some of them have died um, i don't know what's going on uh, i've mentioned before it was just like a really rough start to the season so some of these plants didn't really have very good uh, root systems, so I think they just didn't survive. So, like I said, I had to um, buy some replacement. So back here in the corner, I have a uh, Silver Scrolls Ukra, which just finished blooming not too long ago. Also have a coffee cup uh, Colocasia that's in the middle there is the Thriller. It is Friday when I'm filming this, so there is lots of noise in the background here in Philly. Um, I have a Tarina here in the corner, and it is doing okay. Uh, I mentioned some, several of my plants have died, and a lot of them have been Tarina for some reason. Um, I have a Bromeliad here in the front. I believe this one is Neo Rigel, Rigelia, Reginelia, oh boy, I'm terrible at pronouncing these. Um, I can put that up on the screen for you, but the color is gorgeous. I love that um, that bright pink. Tucked back here, um, the yellow, the plant with the yellow flower. It's another tropical uh, flower. I'm sure you've probably noticed I have a lot of tropical plants. Um, but that particular one um, it has many names. There's another one right over here. It goes by a lollipop plant, plant, and I believe a shrimp plant. Um, I did kind of skip over here. In the middle, I have Sansevieria or snake plants. They normally live inside over the um, winter, but I thought I'd bring them out this year and see how they do. Um, I have another hookra back here. This particular one is caramel another Tarina, and a, another Bromeliad. I don't know the name of that one, though. And up here on the wall, we have another houseplant, um, split-leaf philodendron that comes inside over the winter. So back here in the corner, every year I always do these four pots with impatience, and there are some caladium that are slowly slowly starting to come Let's see if i can step back here i've already just stepped on the hosta um so there's a a caladium and there's some more coming right here so in a few weeks 
dropping the camera. In a few weeks, we'll have um, some beautiful caladium foliage. Got my hostas back here. They luckily come up every year. Uh, right down here, we have a little trio of pots. Um, this is a New Guinean patient. This is another plant that I've kind of been struggling with. I'm not sure why. Um, it used to be right over here and I lost one. So I brought this remaining one over to hopefully survive. Um, I also have some more impatience, some more Charina, also not looking great. Um, oh, here is a Caladium that is slowly starting to unravel. So I do have Caladiums like tucked in throughout here. Um, it's just a little early, but they will be um, popping up shortly. I have a um, Tratoscantia here, not 100% sure of the variety. Um, but that's what's going on there. And the foliage right here is just a hellebora. So let's spin around here without me stepping on too many things. So let's take a look at the yucca, which is blooming. I think it looks great. Um, you know, not a difficult plant to grow, not super exotic. Uh, some people don't really like yuccas, but I mean, how could you not like this? I'm going to put my hand in here. Like, this is huge. This is, gives amazing height and some really fun flowers. So what's not lo uh, to love about this yucca? Uh, moving down here, so this whole section here is in the sun most of the time. And we have, um, let's start down here, I'll just point at this one. So this is an Ageratum, Aloha Blue. I have three Gumfrina back here. And then these are the uh, Caladiums. It's the repeat of the Caladiums that we just looked at underneath the banana. And then something new this year for me would be these bidens so it's these um, daisy type plants right here so there are two varieties um i don't know which one is which so this is the same and then there's let's just walk around here there's a third one and it's just a little bit more um like bright in the center so one is uh, Bitty Boom Red and one is Be Alive. I'm not sure which one is which, but I do have two different varieties of Bidens, which kind of look similar. Um, it was like a mistake that I uh, grabbed two different ones. Um, down here in this pot, I planted up some purple basil, so that will be coming in the future. Um, another wire vine right here, and of course, um, these purple hearts, which thankfully have come up for me from last year. Right here on this trellis, I have a clematis that is slowly working its way into the tree. And right next to that, I do have a dahlia. and it is growing nicely up through the center of this trellis. I'm very hopeful that I don't have any um, falling over problems <laughs> that I normally do with that dahlia. Um, there's some more cannas back here, and then there are Tropicana um, cannas also right here, these little shorter ones. They're just a little bit slower on um, moving along. So this planter, um, we're now moving into like over here. This is like the more shaded section. This planter I have some mixed feelings about and I think it's just because it's taking a little while for things to um, really get going. So I have some, some strobilanthus here in the corner. 
and then I have this beautiful trailing coleus. Um, I have two different types of coleus. I believe this particular one is called Lava Rose. Uh, in the center, I do have a um, cypress, um, cypress umbrella grass. So this right here, um, I wintered that over inside and it is coming, but it's a little bit slow. I think once this grass gets a little bit taller, um, this planter will be a little bit more interesting to me. Um, I also have a maidenhair fern mixed in here. And on the corners, I have a Santa Cruz begonia. It is just now starting to bloom and it is giving like a nice um, pop of bright orange there. So right now, mixed feelings, but I feel like once this gets this um, planter gets a little bit more mature, I think it will um, look just fine. Uh, moving on, I have um, some different Tradescantias down here. I we're, we're ignoring these pots that are on the ground here. I forgot to move them. They are um, plants that aren't doing so good right now. So we're just going to ignore that they are down there. Um, I have some impatience and I also have, it's right here, um, I have some caladiums tucked in throughout this area as well. Um, so this section right here, also more shade. I have um, some oxalis growing right down here. A caladium that is starting to bloom. Some impatience. Also have a snake plant. And if you look over here on the edge of this pot, we also have another caladium. I put about 24 caladiums in this garden and they are just now starting to open. So within the next few weeks, I think this garden is going to change dramatically um, just with the caladiums alone. This is another one of those um, Santa Cruz begonias that's just starting to bloom. Have a um, type of Tritoscantia here. Don't know um, the variety off the top of my head. Also some more impatience on the either side. A repeat of a coffee cup colocasia. And then, like I said, there's some more caladiums that are going to be coming up pretty, pretty soon, at least I hope so. While we're standing here, let's take a look at this. Um, this hosta is starting to bloom. This is a very like huge leafed hosta, and I do love the flowers that it produces. Um, I have lots of hostas, and I do kind of just ignore them, I guess, in these videos. Um, but you can see I have lots of different um, varieties. I unfortunately don't remember what the names of all of these are. I do believe that this particular one is called Snake Eyes. Um, it has really great foliage. Um, in the back here, I do have a Brunera coming up. Um, that is the first year for that plant. I forgot to mention, I have a lot of new plants this year that I have never tried before. So I'm very excited to see what happens. Um, but yeah, I think that is everything. This is, I'll just do a little pan here. Um, this is the second portion of my garden that I needed to go over. And a few bumps along the way, but I think overall things are going to work out just fine. All right, guys, that's everything. This is a really quick tour. Um, thank you for joining me. Um, I'm spinning around here because I want to point out I did add some purple fountain grass in this planter here. So we'll see what happens there. But anyway, thank you for joining me. I hope you like this video. If you do, please click like and subscribe. 
and I will see you on the next garden tour. Have a great day.